गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ऑल ऑफ यू इन द अमेजिंग स्टेनो चैनल टुडे द डिक्टेशन डिक्टेटेड विद प्रोग्रेसिव मैगजीन पब्लिश्ड ऑन नाइनटीन्थ ऑफ अक्टूबर टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन सो गेट रेडी फाइव फोर थ्री टू वन स्टार्ट Revenue has to go into a consolidated fund. That is the mandate of Article two sixty six of the Constitution. It has to either go into the consolidated fund of India or the consolidated fund of a state. It cannot go nowhere, and I am afraid the. draft amendment circulated leaves this question unanswered i can understand the problem that you faced i think to the best of my understanding the problem was how to avoid double counting but i think there was a more elegant way of dealing with the problem of double counting i think the draft is clumsy maybe it cannot be rectified at this stage when we are in the final stages of debating the bill but i would just add a word of caution that the drafting in this respect is rather clumsy the second issue was i think an issue that could have resolved in 5 minutes how can you in a destination based tax have a retrograde provision like some states being allowed to impose an additional 1% what is the rational of a gst the rational of a gst is that we must avoid multiplicity of taxes we must avoid cascading of taxes and we must be able to capture every taxable transaction if you give to some states the power to impose an additional 1% tax and in the bill that was circulated it could have been imposed by more than one state as goods pass from one state to another it would have led to multiplicity of tax rates it would have led to cascading and it would have led to a situation where several transactions may or may not be captured this was immediately pointed out but i think the government was during that time not today rather a stubborn the chief economic adviser of the government pointed out that this was a retrograde provision and this should be scrapped and i am happy that this has been scrapped gst does not stand only for goods and services tax it also stands for good sense trims ultimately for good sense trims you have dropped the 1% tax and i think thank you for accepting our suggestion to drop the 1% tax this is would very well serve our purpose for gst as such the second major issue is dispute resolution now please remember that dispute resolution between the center and states between one state and one or more states between a group of states and a group of states is not a matter on which the constitution is silent whatever we do here we must acknowledge the fact that 
the constitution is not silent on dispute resolution between states article 31 speaks loud and clear it provides for a machinery for dispute resolution nothing that we do here can derogate from article 131 unless you amend article 131 and that is not what we are doing today which is why the bill introduced by the finance minister in 2011 laid out a clear provision for dispute resolution called the dispute resolution authority and recognized that dispute resolution is an exercise of judicial power just as the government is jealous of guarding its executive power just as we in parliament are jealous of guarding our legislative power the judges of this country are jealous about guarding their judicial power time and again the judges have said if you encroach upon our judicial power we will strike it down i still maintain that the provision introduced by the finance minister was the best provision or clearly a much better provision than the provision introduced in the present bill the draft circulated was very deficient it did not even require the gst council to establish a mechanism it says may lay down the modalities and in discussions with us and i believe discussions with other parties it was pointed out to the government that this is hopelessly deficient you must be oblige the gst council to set up a dispute resolution authority and it must be set up with back date a mechanism cannot be set up after the dispute arises that is the difference between rule of law and rule by law in a country governed by rule of law the dispute resolution authority is known to everybody even before a dispute arises so that you know if a dispute arises you go there if you set up the machinery after the dispute that is not rule of law that is show me the person and i will show you the rule i am glad that some strengthening has been done to this provision i would still urge the finance minister if he is inclined to do that to strengthen it during the course of this debate he can move an official amendment i would still urge him to say that the clause amendment number 7 to clause 12 can be strengthened thank you very much